So the weather here in California is beautiful. We're in the 70s now. Every day it's acting more and more like summer and no rain on the forecast at all. Just nice, beautiful, sunny, warm days, cold nights. Very, very low on the rain gauge. But we're going to talk about the sinkholes and blowholes in Russia and all over the world which is going on because of climate change. Okay, what I want to talk to you about today was the numerous blowholes, methane blowholes and sinkholes throughout the world which is happening at a faster and faster rate up in Russia, up in Siberia where the permafrost is starting to melt and thaw out. We're seeing big blasting holes in the earth about 80 feet across and about uh, five stories to ten stories deep. These giant methane blowholes in Russia. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that. And this is going to continue faster and faster as the methane goes out. Now, when these explode, I don't know if it's with the fire. They didn't find in the science. They haven't found any burning. So it looks like it's just methane that is built up to such a high pressure. It just blew out the earth and raw methane went right into the into the air which is going to increase climate change. It's a feedback loop. huh? Now sinkholes are a different thing. They're also where permafrost is melted and thawed and buildings and stuff sag down into them. The difference between the two is the blowholes have a rim, a big rim because of it was an explosion whereas sinkholes just sink down and usually has something to do with water. Uh, underground rivers and that sort of thing, waterways, and they uh, tend to be where buildings are, cities and where people park their cars or drive. All of a sudden the sinkhole will just open up. Usually it has to do with rain, so the more rain we get the more sinkholes we're probably going to get. And that's another feedback loop is because the amount of sinkholes is increasing. Now most sinkholes are smaller than blowholes, but some of them are quite big. continue on and there's not a thing we can do about that other than just watch try to drive less and, and pollute less and uh, make your footprint a lot less and the biggest thing is to make sure that we don't bring children into the world anymore that we adopt because we just have too many humans right now and now we don't know what's going on in the oceans deep down but around the Siberian area of up in the northern area where the, the ocean freezes over every year. They're also getting thawed out permafrost down into the ocean and the methanes are starting to seep into the water column. Now when methane seeps into the water it tends to be absorbed by the water as it goes up so that about 50 feet is about the maximum you can get any release from the bottom of the ocean to the top of methane. The methane pretty much just dissolves into the water. Now here in California because of the weather we're not having any rain. Our rains have disappeared pretty much and we're very low on rain precipitation and it's pretty doubtful now that we'll get any more real heavy rains by the end of the, the rainy season. And uh, fortunately for us, because we've had so much dry air blowing around here in California, that the uh, fortunately the grass is still green from our December rains. Hopefully the uh, grass will stay green for a while so we can avoid early wildfires and all that smoke and everything. Not looking forward to this summer. Don't know what it's going to be like. Every summer seems to be different now. We don't know how bad the fire season is going to be. But all of this stuff is sort of a feedback loop that we can't stop. Will we be able to stop the feedback loops? I don't know. It doesn't look like anybody's really pushing for it. So that's all I wanted to cover today. I definitely do appreciate your guys' comments on methane and all the issues that are coming up from it. A lot of methane coming out of uh, human-made gas and oil pipelines and fracking gas and all this. We're really adding a lot of methane to the, to the atmosphere. We need less humans. That's all there is to it. More humans, more methane. 
So, I appreciate your comments, your ups, the downs, the new subscribers. And until next time. Thank you.